I'm here at Donington Park with Shaky Byrne, the reigning British superbike champion, now plying his trade in world superbikes. But more importantly, I'm sitting abreast an 1198 Ducati, and Shaky is going to help me get the best out of this beast on the track. We're at the Melbourne Loop here at Donington Park. Shaky, the biggest problem I have on a track, I've had a license since 1991, I've, I've ridden a couple of track days, is, is going around a bend properly. What's the best way of getting around this monster? The Melbourne Loop's a real tricky corner. I mean, uh, it's a very fast approach, it's sort of breaking downhill, it makes it really, really awkward. I mean, but for you today, we should be looking for you to sort of come down, nice and straight on the brakes, an apex here, just drift out, use maybe... So take the apex early, come in there. Into, into here, and then you maybe want to be taking, I don't know, a metre or two, just sort of running out of the track, but then cutting back for the second apex. The most important thing is to get the bike upright as possible, so you've got as much grip as possible from the rear tyre, and then uh, fire yourself out and enjoy the wheelie up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of the things you need to bear in mind is that to go as fast as possible around a racetrack, yeah. you need to make the track as straight as possible. It means using all of the track possible. Yeah, yeah. So your entry's okay, but when you get to that point, don't accelerate straight away. Get yourself out to that point, yeah. make the racetrack as wide as possible. It's all so easy when you say it like that, right. I think you made a, you made quite a big improvement. You won something, you had a, <clears throat> a fantastic exit. You just run off, uh, off the curves at the top there, which is where we do it in, uh, in a race situation anyway, so yeah, very good. About three times as fast. <laughs> <laughs> very shaky. No problem. It's a, it's a tough bend, and it's tougher when uh, you've got one of the best riders in the world standing right on the corner, half shaking their head, half just kind of going, is he here yet? So Shaky, having watched racing you know, and gone into to bends faster than I want, how do you know when it's all about to go utterly pear-shaped. <laughs> Generally speaking, you know, it depends on what, what type of crash you're going to have, but... Uh, I like the way you yeah. categorise them in different types of yeah, crashes. Yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes it catches you off guard, but sometimes you know it's coming, so you get a bit of a warning. You're a dad in November. Has that changed the way you race? Extra bit of responsibility, or you just think, actually, you know, I race fairly safely? Do you know what? I have to buy a lot of nappies for my little boy, and uh, I have to race even harder now than I probably did before. <laughs> <laughs> So what have I learned? I've learned that attacking the bends isn't all about speed going in and speed going out. It's about patience, applying the power properly. Also, I've seen the bike is part of shaky rather than he's riding some untamed beast like I am. And with a bit of practice, one day, I might be able to do that. It'll be slow and steady. Don't if I don't see no that. black lines, I'm going to call you a <laughs> on telly. <laughs> you can do what you want. <laughs>